Are you someone looking to build a budget home gym? You're like, man, I'd really like to work out at home and not have to pay a membership. I totally get it. This video is probably for you. If you'd like that sort of thing, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe because we have others coming out. And this is really a response to our community. So thank you guys for commenting and saying, Coop, we need more budget friendly equipment reviews. This one is down that alley. This is the one to fit pull up bar. This is designed to be a multifunctional pull up bar. When we did our breakdown on the best pull up bars, this is one I recommended and I recommended it because it's got some unique features. It's rated very highly by users. It's got close to a thousand reviews on Amazon and over four and a half stars and priced just bottom dollar, very affordable. And there's a lot you can do with it that other things you can't. So today I want to walk through it, talk about it, review it, tell you the features, tell you what I think about it, tell you what it compares to, and let you know if I recommend it. So without further ado, let's get into it. With the one two fit bar, this is what most of you are going to be used to with a pull-up bar. You can use it for standard pull-ups, you can use it obviously for close grip pull-ups here with the bar in the center. But the other thing you can do with it is you can also do neutral grip. So it's got these handles in the middle that allow you to do neutral grip pull-ups. So there's basically multifunctional pull-ups that you can do with it like this. Another thing you can do is it's got these attachment handles here that would allow you to attach say rings if you want to do dips or you could attach like TRX straps. Things like that. It's just an attachment point where you can put carabiners in there and then do some sort of like leveraged pull, row, push, things like that. But what really makes this unique is that it's removable and modular. So when Sam first showed me this after he assembled it, he's like, look at this. It's a pull up bar. Really cool. I was like, oh, that is okay. It's pretty cool. But he's like, watch this. So it turns from a pull up bar into kind of like a power tower type station. It turns from a pull-up bar into a hanging leg raise station that you can legitimately do like you can on a power tower, which I've got one right here that takes up way more space, does the same amount of thing and is more expensive. This does pretty much everything that power tower does on a wall, hanging leg raises, knee raises, oblique stuff, whatever you wanna do on a hanging leg raise. In addition to that, handles on the front, so if you wanted to turn around, you could do dips. And it has the ability, because it's so lightweight, it's just quick off the wall and out of the way. So the way that it comes together is you have to assemble all this together. It's very lightweight. And then on the back side are these hooks. You could technically just put them in one spot. We put them in two different spots so you have it high enough so you could do pull-ups. And then when you want to do dips, you didn't have to like climb up top and do it. And you can do dips on this part with the hanging leg raises. So it's a multifunctional unit that costs only 125 bucks. So when people are asking me, like we got some questions when we did the pull-up bar, Coop, what do you recommend for a power tower? This is the type of thing that I think is really freaking cool for the price, for the amount of things you can do with it. And if you're wanting to do just calisthenic training, body weight training, that's a great way to get into home gyms. It's cheap, you don't have to buy a ton of weight. This you simply bolt to the wall. They recommend doing it into a concrete or a brick wall, but I see no problem doing it into studs. Studs can be really strong. You just need to use the right hardware, or you can do like we did and you just place a couple stringers and it makes it a little bit more secure. And the other thing is it prevents it from pressing into your drywall. Now this is a $125 unit. This is not something made by Aleco or a really expensive company. You get what you pay for, but things like this I think are great because you can have a lot of functionality and try to figure out if a home gym is something you want. And if it is, you can spend over time, but there's just a lot you can do on this. Now, let me just walk through some of the quality features. This is using powder coat all throughout on the black. It's not like a really high quality powder coat, but honestly, like it gets the job done for the price. I feel pretty safe and stable when I'm on this. They say the max rating is 440 pounds. So if you're wanting to do really heavy weight pull-ups and dips, you may want to look at something that's secure to the ground or a squat rack. I weigh about 175 pounds. That would allow me a lot of weight to put on me to really do weighted dips and pull-ups so long as it's really secure into the wall. Now, 
there is some things about it that aren't great. Like it's got foam grips that aren't very comfortable. I foresee these just coming off over time. Technically, if you wanted other grips, you could put bicycle grips on here or something very easily and cheaply if you really wanted that. I think these are good enough for the price. The vinyl is just okay, as is the padding. But for the price, I feel like it all fits. For the features, for the cost, the features all work. So I love the ability to go from pull-ups, both neutral grip and wide grip and close grip, to easily come down, place it, and then suddenly you can do your leg raises or dips. Now, there are other options for pull-up bars. This is getting in the realm of like, say Rogue's Jammer pull-up bar. It's around 150, 160 bucks, not including shipping. This is cheaper than that, obviously, and more multifunctional than that. That's why I think this works. And one reason I wanted to make a video to recommend it because I know there's a lot of people that are building cheaper home gyms, budget home gyms. And like, I just don't have the money to spend on a dedicated power rack. What do I need to build in order to get stronger, bigger, faster while doing it on a budget? This is a perfect example. You can do a lot with this. You can get fit and strong with this. Now it's not perfect. I talked about the foam grips. The other thing to look out for is on the backside here. So it uses these rubber grips that push up against the wall. I've noticed if you have it on a stringer board, it forces it off the wall a little bit more. So you probably wanna put another stringer so it's more horizontal and just parallel to the ground. It feels a little bit more comfortable that way. And it also won't jam into the wall. Another reason would be it just distribute the weight better. So rather than having the leverage like cantilevered, it's more parallel. So it's more evenly pushing up against the wall. These hooks, they're pretty thick. Like this is thick angle iron. Like I don't foresee them very easily bending, but I would recommend instead of what we did, putting double bolts in on both sides. But I do think that would be a better option is just making sure it's very secure. So <laughs> you're not gonna fall. So this is in the category of like, really cool idea that's very useful to home gyms. Why aren't higher end companies making things like this? So an example of this is like with weight benches. There's some adjustable benches out there that use leg extensions and leg curls. And it's like, the only companies that are making those are ones that are using just really cheap materials and trying to hit a price point. Why aren't higher end companies offering that stuff? This is an example. I would love it if this used thicker, heavier steel. It'd have a higher max weight. I'd like a maybe a little bit more secure connection system. So like this one, because it just hooks on here, I could feel some people maybe feeling a little bit unsafe, especially if they're doing any sort of like not so much kipping, but just extra movement. Like I would hate for that thing to pop off. So having something that would secure this would be really nice. Something that was already a stringer board and had these worked in would be really cool. And you could also add additional functionality to the stringer board for like TRX and bands and things like that. Something other than rubber grips, like it'd be nice if it, obviously people are gonna make fun of me, but like knurled <laughs> would be cool. That would be a nice thing. Another thing would be the ability to adjust in and out the arm angles like i'm throwing out ideas like yeah it's going to increase the cost i think there is a market for people that want this sort of thing but wouldn't mind spending a little bit more for better vinyl better foam better grips a little bit more functionality and safety that this could really work so i love this idea i love that they make it at the price point because it's going to appeal to a lot of people but for people that want something a little bit more safe and just a little bit better built i think there's some things that could be added and i really think people would buy it so I definitely recommend this. This is something I wanted to get out. I don't see a ton of people talk about this. Is this a type of product, a product category you're into? Do you like the price point? Let me know in the comments. This is Coop from Garage Room Reviews and we will see you next time.